All right, so we're gonna start the video off with a little photo shoot. We're having a denim drop, uh, first of May. But anyways, we're here doing also CLD's first photo shoot. The denim you can see the model is wearing are one of the highlights, I'd say, of the selection we got. But yeah, we're gonna film some little B-roll clips, get the video started. Gonna leave to Antwerp in two days, so gonna do some shopping there and um... Oh, also, I gotta, gotta shout out Luca. Luca has been a huge help getting the photo shoot set up and also with a lot of the denim, so... Didn't mean to leave you hanging, but yeah. Huge shout out to Luca and let's see how the pictures turn out. Antwerp, everyone. Gonna have a little tour of the city for uh, one to two days. Got a little list of stores to check out. As many of you guys know, Antwerp could be considered one of the low key capitals of fashion. Like, basically, biggest fashion designers ever have lived here, have gone to school here. There's a lot of archive stuff and like furniture and museums and whatnot. So, we'll have a look. Very nice, like, you know, kind of like homey looking place, you know, nothing grand, massive, but cool looking buildings. Gonna head to the Airbnb. Yeah, let's fucking check out Antwerp. Got the Airbnb here. Quick fit check. It's been a while since I've done one. Uh, all kind of new products that I have on. Been getting a lot of Balenciaga for uh, CLD while sourcing. I found some bits for myself. Here's my travel outfit. Got the Balenciaga evening wear special item blazer. Got some just regular panel track pants. You know, baggy shit. Got some triple S Balenciaga gym wear hoodie, 80% hat, and the CLD AirPods Max. But yeah, I, I caught a little flu or a little. It's a cold, so to say, when you saw the clips, we were outside after the uh, photo shoot. That's why my voice is a bit stuffy. And this apartment, as you can see, is in a like attic, so I came up all the stairs. Kind of lost my breath there for a bit, but yeah. I'll show you guys quickly the Airbnb. You know, have a nice little view here. On the other side, here we are. This one I'll just put back. Yeah, two beds waiting for my friends to arrive from Finland. We're here to say hi to one of my friends who's here for um, a half a year exchange. Always cool to meet friends and, you know, see people abroad. Finland is fucking boring. Yeah. That's about it. Saw this in Milan. Clean. This jacket is clean. Wanted this one in light blue, actually. It was like two years ago, I think. Light blue one. But like the monogram or not, this one is very clean. Little inspiration. Fuck like normal black doorknobs. All right, we're going to uh, consignment store, I think. Yes, consignment store, we're gonna go, uh, let's call that one. Shout out to all the uh, YouTubers who've made a video of Antwerp. We're checking the places out solely based on the recommendations. Margiela, Rick, and Neil Meester, Balenciaga. What's the price on that one? Just 
Five that was actually nice. 550. 550. Yeah, I mean. Oh, wow. This one's cool. That's some good runs where they have them rick. Guess nothing. A lot of people. A lot of people in the store. It's cool to see. That one's nice. I think that's Prada Raf as well. That was actually very clean. Get Harrington. 400. That is a good price, I'd say. So I think it's Raf Simmons. I mean, the cut is also like that, like boxy, modern, wide. Might have to think about this one for the store. So, uh, Balenciaga coat. Fucking clean. I know the lighting isn't the best, but it's like the uh, layered ones, you know. Very long. It's the sporty beat thing on the back. It's like 800 bucks something. Sick. Or 500. Would probably buy it. Puffy. I haven't seen something like this. Proper. Proper heavy. <laughs> Have some nice blazers here. Dries store. Never seen one before. Hello. Nice store. Dries always has some clean stuff. Super nice store, like uh, you know, sort of French apartment vibe. Cozy. Oh, that was sick. Like a fading to light blue. Shoes. Like a legit closet. This one is There we go. That one. Let's rate the Belgian coffee. He got the cappuccino, I got the classic. Macchiato, got some camel blues, the uh, person with fucking cancer, and what's the place? That's the place. If it's good, might want to check it out. Let's see. No. It's always so bitter. Like, you know, in Italy, it's always so smooth. Everywhere else, you get like espresso, it's just super bitter. It's kind of the same thing in France. It's all right. Let me try that one. Just a little taste test. That, that one's good. That one I'd say is decent, but it's so much milk. This one's just too bitter. Try it. Next time you come to Italy, then you know what I mean. The mug is cool though. I didn't even see it from this side. It's like a skull or something maybe. That doesn't sound Italian. It sounds like Harry Potter. El Clasico. This video wasn't supposed to be a pickups video, but while filming this video, which has honestly taken quite a span of time, I've gathered quite a bit of new pickups. And also, we just had a denim drop one week ago, and we had some amazing jeans like honestly i'm so happy of the outcome and the products that we found i thought that it's only right that i showcase a few of the jeans kind of talk through the sourcing process and then show my pickups because through the last year i've barely bought anything for myself but now during this spring i've found quite a few pieces for myself and there's a few that have been sent to me which have basically been in everyday use so before getting into the pickups i want to show some jeans that's kind of the section of this video of finding the best denim because i truly think that with this process that we went through we gathered quite a few different styles from different brands and from different countries of manufacturing and 
I think we've found like basically, I don't know if I can say the best of all worlds, but we definitely have a very good selection that we found. And obviously since the drop was a week ago, I should have probably filmed this before, but, but quite a few of them have sold out. So while talking about the denim, I'll mention the ones that are, that are sold out. Just make sure to go follow CLD Collective on Instagram so you know when the drops are and to honestly even just get a taste of styling and you know, what kind of products and what kind of of image and brands we want to portray. Let's get into some jeans. Gotta show first ones these that were basically our highlights of the denim drop. Recently I've been enjoying Balenciaga a lot. I'm not even gonna lie like there's just something about like how the clothes fit, the playfulness of the designs that have grabbed my attention recently. Even though it's been one of the most hyped brands I generally don't like to jump on hype before I've gathered a knowledge and concrete opinion myself. These ones are the Autumn Winter 21 Afterworld Destroyed Denim. They have the boxer shorts inside. Sort of like an underlying pair of shorts underneath. Super nice distressing, made in Japan. We did a styling obviously at the start of the video wearing these. Just a super cool pair of jeans. We got two pairs or actually three. The other ones are just hanging of LV monogram denim. Very self-explanatory. The fit is a bit different. The indigo ones are uh, regular straight fits and then the gray ones are the same as the purple ones, so slim fitting. By the way, I don't know if you guys realize, but I got a haircut. I got a slight mullet. Here also we have like a quite unique pair of Balenciaga like baggy denim. It's in this uh, dirty wash on this like kind of cocky denim, almost like a gray cocky. Can't even say the color fully, but has some nice little distressings. Uh, we're gonna actually have a photo shoot later on today, which I'll add into this video, but I think we'll need to take some good pictures of these worn. So once we have the shots, I'll add them here. Honestly, one of my favorite products from Alix, Matthew M. Williams, dark brown treated denim, insane amount of details, lots of like hidden zippers. You have the little metal piece there, just a super detailed, sick pair of denim. I think Acne Studios makes one of the best jeans for their price points. Obviously you have the dirty wash ones which are higher in price, but then you have the sort of more basic ones that you can find on the second hand market for a very decent price. We have these 2022 baggy jeans in a black colorway, and then we have these flared light blue distressed jeans where the whole like waistband is It's just absolutely distressed. And one thing I like about acne jeans, not all of them, but the ones that we pick made in Italy. I kind of forgot to mention how we sourced these um, jeans and like what we had in mind. So I wanted a clear section of like baggy fit jeans or jeans that honestly like, or the fit of jeans that people are generally using at the moment, which would be flared jeans and baggy jeans. They're the ones that people rock with a lot. So you know, as a business, you obviously have to think of what type of things sell and then obviously add your own touch to it. But since with CLD, we're quality first, we always look at where the stuff is manufactured and that's sort of like a starting point to then take into the fit and then take in with the brand. And obviously with denim, most people know, Japan. Japan is probably one of the ones that are top notch. A big section of these jeans, especially all the Levi's are, or there's two that are made in USA, but basically all the other ones are made in Japan. And then we have this pair of sugarcane flared denim, super clean pair of flared denim. Just the washes and the creases are like so nice so so nice you have these small like you know creases and this kind of like yellowish undertone coming through the light blue denim these are honestly one of my favorites that we found size 31 leg 34 everything that i'm showing now is obviously for sale online and i added measurements into the description so you can check with the measurements if the jeans will fit you here we have a pair of orange tab Levi's 517s, so a flared cut. These are made in USA, but sourced from Japan, and you can basically quite easily see from like the patching work that these have been handled in Japan. Have the unique sort of like Japanese repairs on the knees, beautiful light blue wash. I'm a sucker for distressed denim. I just think they look more detailed. They look look more unique that way. I think we'll not go way too heavy into like showcasing every single denim. As I mentioned, some of the denims that 
we sourced obviously have sold out and there was especially one pair of Levi's 503s made in Japan new with tags that in my opinion were just so cool they were called used look and they were in this sort of like yellowish green blue sort of like almost like a multi dye because there were parts that were more yellow and parts that were more like navy blue dark blue and I feel like those were like honestly one of the coolest coolest Levi's I've seen. So now we're gonna take a look into my my recent pickups which have been accumulating now I'd say for a few months. I've been kind of getting back more into like you know getting clothing for myself. Let's get into my pickups. First one my watch which you guys who watched the last video would have seen. It's a Cartier tank 2414 all blue dial I don't know if you can catch it let me see if I can there we go so everything on the dial is blue the second hand the minute hand the hour hand the numbers or the Roman numerals and then that like checkboard thing inside and obviously the cabochon so the crown there and yeah I got it with a black strap where a black strap was attached, but y'all yeah, already right know I had to change it to the light blue alligator strap. So you could probably add that to be a pickup as well, you know, since it didn't come with this strap, but I use it every single day. I have a small wrist, so I can't go with the big watch. And you know, I just feel like that looks so clean. My favorite purchase I've ever made. And also I've been gathering quite a few of these like Japanese essentials while sourcing from Japan. I've been wanting to add some essentials to my closet. One of them is this like uh, short sleeve shirt in this like washed black colorway. It's simply cut like a t-shirt. As you can see, it's just legit straight, but it has those buttons, you know, when you want to button it up a bit, you can make it look like a shirt, but I usually wear it open with a tank top underneath and it's legit like the perfect t-shirt almost. And then I got these Balenciaga jeans for myself. These just came in like two days ago. Would have probably otherwise ended up in the drop. Fall winter 18 runway flared denim uh, made in Japan with just this one blown out knee or one knee distressing. And I'll just continue these ones I have to take off. The most played out shoe, some would say. In my opinion, one of the best shoes made. Balenciaga Triple S. This is the V2 version. So they don't have the big logo there or they don't have the size tag here. And the reason why I got these is this toe box. The version one toe box is way more like bulky. It's way more round. Whereas this one has a more like sporty shape. It narrows down a bit. In my opinion, way more flattering. I use these every single day because most of my pants tend to be wide, baggier at this point. Obviously, I have other shoes when I want to go a bit more slimmer, which I obviously do. I don't stay one dimensional ever. But you know, with flared, more baggy pants, these go absolutely perfect. Just to say, this is like the sort of gray white colorway has a slight tint of brown, but it's more gray really. Super comfortable shoe. And then I got a pair of boots, Balenciaga as well, strike combat boots. My point has never been to go too heavy into Balenciaga. It might seem like it, but honestly, just sourcing a lot of stuff for CLD, I've been finding so many good Balenciaga items. So when you get a lot of items, I'm like, fuck, you know, I want something for myself. So it's just, sort of ended up being Balenciaga. I don't even like, you know, know why. And probably you can see from my style and stuff, I'm not like going too heavy into the like, you know, uh, TikTok Balenciaga type. But yeah, the reasoning for these boots is honestly, I had so hard time finding boots that I like that were like simple enough, sort of chunky enough, but then detailed enough, something that wasn't like too simple. And I find, found these for a great price. Uh, ideally, maybe would have wanted them in black, but I think honestly, maybe the olive color is quite refreshing. I've never had boots in this color or shoes in this color for that matter. Not much to say about them. Y'all know the deal. Then let's go into another little Balenciaga piece. I have this also for sale online, but I like using it so much, so probably won't end up selling it. It's a Balenciaga evening wear. It's a special item, cropped boxy blazer with some satin lapels or satin collars, you know, has the like tuxedo vibe. The beauty of this honestly comes when you wear it. Most of you know, Balenciaga usually fits so oversized that sometimes it just doesn't look really that flattering. This being a size 44, being my size, sometimes in Balenciaga it's way too big. But you see 
how nice that fits. Like, you know, pop that closed and it's like honestly just a perfect fitting blazer with just this like, you know, elegantly boxy uh, shoulders. It's not too much, it's not too little. But yeah, honestly, quite self-explanatory. Made in Italy, silk lining, Balenciaga blazer, absolutely perfect. What else? So. Let's get into my calm aware stuff. Also shortly showcased this in the last video. Gizmo sent me these pieces. I'm eternally grateful to work with calm aware, to work with Giz, to be able to get these pieces. Honestly, one of my dreams come true. And also some of the pieces that I've received are, also, are for the fall winter season. So I don't even know if the names of them have been decided yet, but this is light purple lilac windbreaker with the hood that has this little like cap and the like face mask type of attachment that you can fold in front of your face. You know what I mean? And honestly, just purple color in this is absolutely amazing. You know, purple can easily seem as like a soft kind of like almost in a way like a girly color. And I don't mean that in a bad way or anything, but this one has like a cold vibe to it, a cold vibe to the color. You know, it goes perfect with black stuff. It doesn't like pop out too much as purple maybe, it sometimes does. Just the perfect everyday jacket. Also, if Gizmo is watching, anyone's watching, everyone who comes to the showroom always wants me to sell, sell this. Everyone wants a bit of calm aware, so like I love to have the Calm aware stuff here, you know, when people come to the showroom. If they don't know, I put them on it. If they know, they can see them in person because in Europe you don't have uh, too many people or at least stockists who have calm aware. So if you want some calm aware or to see some calm aware, come to Milan and come to the showroom, check them out. Here we have a pair of like black darted denim. 18 ounce Japanese denim, if I'm not correct. Absolutely amazing quality. And uh, these were the ones I wore in the showroom pretty much constantly. Apparently these ones shrunk a bit too much. So essentially they were smaller than they were supposed to be. And usually that means that then it fits me the best. Gizmo sent me these jeans and I wear them constantly. Goes perfectly with the triple S, goes perfectly with the strike boots. And yeah, the beauty of these comes in the fits as it usually does with calm aware, even though the details are immaculate, but the fits and the intricate patterns just look even nicer when worn. So I'll add some pictures of me wearing these if these would have been in the denim drop, these would have been the highlight ones. Before we go to the last calm aware pants, I'll just show, this is the, same jacket that I showcased in purple, but in black. So I'll just show the fit of it. Usually I wear it like this. So you can see like, you know, these things kind of fall on the shoulders. Here in Italy, it's obviously quite warm. So I don't need to zip it up always. We have these like 3D front panels. And uh, yeah, we have the zipper there. I'll just show how the hood, hood goes. Before the common wear pants, these were up first. Balenciaga has the like just Sporty B logo there. Catches it, maybe it doesn't, there we go. Just these baggy track pants. They have a Cupro lining inside. So my God, these feel like nothing to wear. Have like a zip back pocket and the paneling there just continues very nicely towards the side seam there. Super cool, basic little black Balenciaga uh, track pants. Size extra, extra small. What other brand does an extra, extra small and them still fitting fucking massive? See how long those are? Then we have this sample pair of pants from Calm Aware, which was also from the fall winter 24 season. Also can't recall the name, but these are also a size extra small. So I get the special sizing because of my small waist. There's so much to say, but again, the beauty comes in the fit. I showed these in the Paris video. Just look at like, you know, all this stuff going on and it all plays into the fits of the trousers. Like all these small, small seams, and like pockets here and pockets here and you have the snap buttons in the back there that with this leg you can see is closed and this one is open so you can make it slimmer or wider they fit super wide anyways by opening this uh snap button in the back 
it kind of airs out even more. It becomes almost like a giant's pants in a way. Whereas when you snap it, it keeps the like thigh parts quite slim in a way and then it flares out. These are in like a rigid thick cotton polyester mix. So very like rigid feeling pants. And I guess minus Gizmo and some friends and family of Comware, I'm probably the only ones to have these at the moment. So super hyped about it. Second last piece I'll show. This was from CLD's bag drop. I think this bag didn't make it into the video because I just showcased the Guidi one and the Rick Owens one and I didn't go into full detail of the bags that we had. And that I'll be looking to get better in the future to, you know, showcase you guys the items that we get because honestly, some of these are just so amazing. This one is still for sale, but I'm highly likely going to buy it myself. It's from Yoshida, who is the owner or designer of Porter. Not sure which way it goes, but look at that quality of leather. Like absolutely amazing. And you see there it's like double lined and all these parts are like pockets and they even have zip pockets here and it's same in this side, same in that side. You obviously have the snap buttons there to close all four like hidden pockets. The reason why I like this bag the most is you can obviously wear it like this, like as on the shoulder, you know, chill and all, no problem. But when you're traveling or something, you can wear it also like this, you know, chuck it in the back there. An absolutely perfect bag design and I'm just a sucker for good quality leather. Such a high quality bag. Even the lining cotton just feels so, so good. Just these two last pieces. Uh, this is from the same brand that this shirt that I'm wearing is from. Just kind of like the long sleeve version. A very casual material used. It just has such a nice fit. A faded black slash gray color. I wear it pretty much the same way as I wear this short sleeve shirt. Super chill way. And then yeah, these are one of the denims I got from the denim drop. And also I can bring a point here. We try to also find like sort of cheaper alternatives. These are Japanese denim, very high quality denim but they're, you know, ripped basically everywhere. Even on the back, they have these like big heel bites. Have amazing summer ventilation, I can tell you that much. The idea of buying these initially was to kind of find like a cheaper alternative for the highlight Balenciaga denims of the drop, offering the same quality at a very different price point. Yeah, I bought these myself. Sick little pair of distressed jeans. And since this is a spring shopping video at the same time, I'm leaving to Stockholm tomorrow. Actually gonna go for Finland because it's Mother's Day. We're gonna go spend some time with my mom there. I'm flying first to Stockholm, gonna spend one day there. So we're gonna go check out a few stores in Stockholm. People are gonna start arriving in half an hour. We're gonna have the photo shoot. And then I need to pack my bag and leave towards the airport 6.30 tomorrow morning. Catch you guys in Stockholm. shops I'll show my favorite shop which is called Swedish match y'all know snooze lit pillows and <laughs> the good old the good old you know I'll, I'll show it it's like a coffee shop it's like fucking coolest shop on the planet but yeah I'll go check out a few clothing shops first the first one <laughs> will be a clothing shop so it's called NK like NK it's like a department store uh, they have a store called Paul and Friends, if I'm not mistaken. They have a pretty good brand selection. I remember when I was younger, but was getting into fashion. Stockholm was like uh, the sort of biggest city that I could like get into different kinds of clothing. So even nostalgia-wise, gonna go check it out. There's also this other store that I really want to go check out. But uh, let's catch up after and play. Just 
checked out the uh, Colin Friends and NK. This is a, a bit disappointing. I remember when I was a kid and I went there, they always had good Margiela pieces, so they've continued with that, but otherwise the brand selection has gone very commercial, just heavily on Acne Studios and Our Legacy. Not bad pieces for sure, but you know, was maybe expecting a bit more, but maybe, you know, last time I've been there, I was way younger. So, you know, maybe my taste has elevated a bit. And yeah, everyone's always asking where I got my black trees pants, the floral ones. Like, so many questions throughout the years I've got from it. And I got them like six years ago from this store. So, yeah, it has some, like all my art brands and stuff. Very cool store. It's like a uh, sort of um, bunker vibe. You go like sort of underground. Hope it's not too windy that you can still hear me. But, anyways, it's called J U. As use. So if you ever come to Stockholm, most likely gonna be the best store out here. But yeah, let's go check it out. Yeah, that's easily gonna be the best store in Stockholm, like, no question about it. The previews that I just tried, I just saw them, and then uh, the, like, sales assistant started uh, talking about them, and it apparently is, like, uh, it's a collaboration with Guidi and some other brand. I can't recall what the, what the name was, but now we're gonna go to my other favorite store, non-clothing related, uh, nicotine, tobacco related. Any kids watching, remember, smoke cigarettes, use nicotine products. Uh, if you come to Sweden, buy some snooze. That, that I will always uh, recommend for anyone. <laughs> Take it as a joke. Don't, don't, don't be serious about it. There we go. I think that one, if I remember correctly, is Swedish Match. There we go. With the zoom, we can see it. Swedish Match, it's, it's like uh, they make the best snooze. It's like, you know, the one that manufactures a lot of the basically best ones. You know, you have like Maraboro, they, they make uh, cigarettes, yeah, Philip Morris, whatnot. He's like uh, the one who produces a lot of the different kinds. So yeah, let's go check it out. This is how you do the uh, Stockholm Turku. Either you fly or you take the ship. The ship is cheaper. And this one's the newest one of the lines. So yeah, cool. And I know they always gon' talk. And I know that they always gon' talk. And I know that they always gon' talk. Yeah. I don't know matter. Finish mornings. Not much else to film really, so let's leave it at this. Just listen. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. It don't matter no. It don't matter no.
no better way to start the Milan tour slash guide than by shopping. And uh, I just felt like last time I did a video about Milan, I left quite a few blanks and now I'm trying to fill those blanks, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna start off by checking some private showrooms since Milan is somewhat of a fashion hub. Uh, a lot of designers, a lot of uh, fashion things happening here. There's some private showrooms, events, private sales. And now we're gonna go check out one. It's uh, called Jammy Dude. And they have like uh, private sales regularly. And this one's for shoes. See all these people, how I look at my face. Look at them, and hey, what with the face? Uh, I'm talking to God, uh, talking to God every day. What does that mean? I don't know. I'm just be doing what I want. Then do what you want. Yeah, you can do anything. Look in my eyes, and what do you see? What do you see? Do you, do you see me, or do you see you? Yeah, I'm a champion. I'm a champion. I do not know what I'm saying, I'll never write this down I'm just be freestyle, never fall like So we're gonna go check out the second sort of uh, private showroom This one is uh, from Elevated Archives, I'll tag them on the video here Very like archive type, not like 100% my style Just show you guys the little coats, just wearing it today uh, On sale at CLD Collective have cooler stuff there it's a Virginia Creeper uh, runway coat. It was like look 45, I think, from the Virginia Creeper collection. Auto Winter 2002. Trust me to ping away. So we're gonna continue with the uh, Milan tour, showing you guys some shops. I'm gonna tag along with my friend, Barengo. Some of you guys probably know him. He's an uh, Italian creator and has an own clothing brand. I've showed uh, one of his hoodies at least that I was wearing constantly during the winter. He knows more of Milan than I do, so it's best that we go with him. And speaking of that, we're actually doing a collaborative video on uh, stores and locations, shopping locations. So I'll leave the link either on the screen here or then I'll put it in the description. And on our collaborative video, you'll hear more opinions and more like insights on the stores we visit. <laughs> So heading into a new Antonia. Never been to this one. I know the one that's close to San Pione. Super nice. I mean, the store even in the, near San Pione is super cool. Got some Audi exhibition coming here. Denim is always so clean. See? 
they adopting the habits. Clean. Gracias.